Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Michael Voris. Support the Clarion Call. American Life League has released a YouTube video suggesting that 62 Catholic members of the U.S. House of Representatives who voted against defunding Planned Parenthood deserve excommunication. The four-minute video, Planned Parenthood Anti-Catholic, documents a history of Planned Parenthood's anti-Catholicism from founder Margaret Sanger to current-day President Cecile Richards. Quote, Planned Parenthood is an enemy of the preborn child, of our children, and of Catholics. To support funding of Planned Parenthood is the ultimate hypocrisy that betrays all pretense of being Catholic in favor of the largest private abortion provider in the world, end quote. That from Michael Hitchborn, host of American Life League's report. American Life League is asking Catholics to contact these Catholic representatives and their local bishops to express their feelings on Catholic support of Planned Parenthood. Murderers forgiven from Catholic News Services, Paul Bhatti, brother of slain Pakistani minister Shabazz Bhatti, says he and his family forgive his brother's assassins, quote, because our faith teaches us to do this. Our brother Shabazz was a Christian and the Christian faith tells us to forgive. A memorial for Bhatti, sponsored by a Rome-based Catholic lay organization, is a way to encourage the continuation of his mission, promoting interreligious dialogue in Pakistan. While attending Pope Benedict's weekly general audience, and after speaking briefly with the Pope, Bal Bhatti asks for prayers to keep his brother's life's work going, which he stresses, never compromised faith-motivated work for social justice. Shapaz Bhatti was murdered by Islamist extremists on March 2nd of this year. Just say no. The Vatican has clarified that there will be no interreligious prayer at the 25th anniversary of John Paul II's Prayer for Peace encounter, taking place this October in Assisi, Italy. The original event was seen as a landmark in interreligious relations, but was criticized by some Catholics who said it appeared to inappropriately mix elements from Christian and non-Christian religions. The Vatican statement on the gathering says that Catholics should enter into dialogue with non-Catholics, but, quote, without sacrificing one's own identity or indulging in forms of syncretism, end quote, where elements of different religions are used indiscriminately. Pope Benedict will host a prayer service with Catholics in St. Peter's Basilica the evening before the event. Stay with us back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. CatholicUnderground.com, the podcast about our Catholic faith and new media. Sex ed for scouts, that according to Universal Catholic Weekly, which was reporting that the Scout Association in the United Kingdom will now give teens between the ages of 14 and 18 an explicit tutorial on how to effectively contracept. The program, My Body, My Choice, stresses the importance of condoms and includes literature explaining that condoms are free, easily obtainable, and protect against both pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Scout leaders claim the program helps young people at this crucial stage in their lives to make what they call informed decisions about their bodies and sexual behavior. And lastly, former student sues a school district. A Southern California student was suspended for evangelizing, and now he's suing. Kenneth Dominguez, a former student at Gateway East High School in San Diego County, was reprimanded several times for bringing his Bible to school and sharing his faith. He was subsequently suspended for two days, according to the California Catholic Daily. Dominguez could not bring his Bible to school because administrators told him, believe this, it was a violation of church and state. Attorneys for Dominguez say they are looking forward to vindicating him and that students shouldn't be forced to drop their Bible and faith at the gate when entering school. I'm Michael Voris. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure to check out The Vortex today where we discuss the church's sacred history 
as our inheritance. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tell your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.